Hello, it's the Jack, and I'm bringing you another Supreme Commander 2 video. It's a 3v3 on open palms. We've got the top right versus the bottom left. On team 1, we've got Ronnie, we have myself, and we have Remen. And we are going up against Matty, Rofo King, and Dark Assassin. So let's just put on speed 2 for the whole game because, you know, it's a very small map. See? You could easily walk from one base to the next. Let's just get. People are going back there in the show mass points, let's just get that out of the way. You can already see factories are going up from everyone already. We have a factory here for them. Matty, who's going cyber and land, obviously. We've got myself, who's taking the risky option of going air. And we have. Dark Assassin going land, we have Rufo King going land, we have Remen going land, and we have Matty queuing up land, eh, uh, Ronnie queuing up land. But he is getting PD creep. It's not looking good for Ronnie so far, but he does try to capture the point defence. But it does get control K'd. I have a play now and it's scouting about. Very risky option when there's a cyber player on another team, especially on such a small map. But as Rofo King isn't going air either, that gives me quite an opportunity to get some planes built. Looks like Ron is getting pushed way back here. I'm moving my common to provide some assistance, as little as it will be. And Remin is just building up a few tanks to deal with Matty. There goes a mass point, but he is building a point defence. Ah, sweet friendship. I'm healing his calm. But his point defence is suffering, so I switched to that. Those mobile missile launchers are going to be a huge pain if we don't do something about it soon. Especially for Rufo as well. But luckily they're still in his base and not hurting anyone yet. Two planes are not enough to kill it. At most, it looks like about four or five planes. How unfortunate. But I'm doing my best to keep this point defence alive. But it looks like this is it. Had it now. Yep. It's doomed. I tried going a quick bombing run on Matty as well, but he does have two adapters out. That was unfortunate. Only one bomb got through, and I think I lose a plane. Nope. Oh, good. Oh, good. But those mobile missile launchers are creeping in from dark. And even Ruffles pushed out. And he even has the AA of his own. That point defense has been a problem for Ronnie. Especially as he doesn't have mobile missile launchers of his own if he spent research elsewhere. There's little he can do here at this point. But it looks like Remen's handling these two fine by himself. He doesn't have much to opposing him here anyway. And the P-Shields are really going to help. But the biggest problem are definitely these mobile launchers. But I did kill three of them, so it's a start. And I think one of my planes got hit by attack missile. It could have just been my imagination. There goes another one. Looks like Dark's now building an AA of his own. And it definitely looks like these P-Shields are helping Remen survive against Ruffo King and Matty, so that's all good. That allows me to focus more on Dark Assassin. He has to try to build more factories though. But that point of it has definitely been a problem. At some point I do bomb it at least, but I'm not sure when. Careful with those attack missiles, they'll kill those P-Shields. They'll kill them dead very quickly. Here comes a bombing run, trying anything to help. I do get a few kills there, so it's always a helpful. And with Dark focusing more on AA, that gives Ronnie a chance to rebuild, as crippled as he is. I'm just trying my best to keep Dark at bay. Remen's trying his best to inflict as much damage on Matty as possible. 
And he's right in his base, so he's got a good opportunity now. He's just killing bots as they stray out of the factories. All the research is worth it. I even move in for a bombing run as well. All oh, extra damage helps after all. Yep, see, there goes another factory. But the problem is, I'm pretty much leaving Ronny to die here. He does get two tanks. Three tanks, four tanks. Momo must launcher. Second one. And a few EE. Yeah, he killed probably as much as he got that got killed, so that's all worthwhile. But here comes a bombing run. I'm trying to save his calm here. But there's a lot of EE. Keep attacking the tanks. And it's like, here comes a com bomb. Yep, nope. Nope. It's like, Ro Made Rem it looks like Remen's moving on to kill Rufo, who's marching in for a com bomb. Yep, there it is. And now I'm rolling out gunships. This should help against the um, enormous amount of AA darks piling out now. But he is switching to tanks as well now. So that helps. These tanks are doomed. That helps. But he's switching to full on AA now. There would be a chance for Ronnie to attack if he had anything. He is at least repairing my calm, so it's all good. Looks like Ro uh, Remen's going to finish off Matty. There goes the last two factories. Titans and peace shields, they move at the same speed. The easy way to defend. Or keep them in the peace shields. But he did leave a factory. Here goes Ruffles factory. Still having trouble pushing into dark. He's just got so much AA. But it looks like here comes Remen to save the day. He's going straight for dark. Straight for dark. All he has is mobile AA. How is he going to defend himself? Simple answer is he doesn't. Here comes his calm. I finish off a factory with my planes, but here comes the com explosion. Nope, yep. Yep, just getting the edge of Remen's force. They're now free to kill all that mobile AA. With Afterburn as well, so they're just charging on through in a way phase tanks. There goes an Arcom. It looks like it's over now. There goes Ruffles Force. Decimated as if it was nothing. My plane's just bombing whatever they can now. There's Matty defeated. Two left. And it, we're in their base. There's nothing they can do. Matt, uh, Dark's even crippled him. Matty's lost his initial four mass points. Here comes another wave. There's just nothing the fucking can do about it. He is just melting. And one factory after another, Dark is dying. Oh, it looks like Remens forgot his bit of small force in there. He's just too busy microing this one, killing Ruffo. There goes Dark's last factory and that's him out of the game. And there goes Ruffo King. Yep, victory. That was an interesting game on this map. Very fast paced. It was quite a risky move going air, but the gunships really do help. If only I got them sooner. Matt, uh, Ronnie would not have been 
you know, crippled. But Raymond managed to charge through Matty and Rufo King quite easily. If Rufo King focused more on tanks than he did tack missile launchers at the start, it probably would have turned the other way on Raymond. But who knows, you can only guess at this point of how it could have turned out. So, there you go, another game. You can also check out my channel for more videos and you can also subscribe, so yeah.